T cells are a specialised type of immune cell that can fight infections and cancers. In our research, we found that there was almost two flavours of T cells in the skin, pathogenic and protective. When I say protective T cells, these are the ones that fight our cancer and our infections. But these pathological T cells, they're the ones that are really implicated in autoimmune disorders, which means they don't have the correct reaction for that threat. And for a very long time, people treated these T cells as one population of, of cells. It wasn't really distinguished what was good and what was bad. But what we did is we used a lot of high dimensional methods that were able to distinguish the genes and the proteins that make a pathogenic and a protective T cell different. With our research, we're really hoping that we can start to pinpoint, fine tune how we delete a really bad T cell from a good one. So keeping the, the person healthy otherwise, whilst treating their autoimmune disorder at the same time. T-cells, they can sense a threat. So when something is not right, there are signals around them that tell them it's go time. And so when there's a bug, some sort of germs, or some sort of cancerous cell, the other immune cells in the body can signal like a little red flag to the T-cells and say, this needs to be destroyed. However, in the case of autoimmunity, it's a little different because the threat itself is part of our body. So we don't actually want to eliminate that altogether. What we want to do is just control the immune response to that that threat. The research that we've done really aims to help autoimmune conditions like psoriasis, vitiligo and alopecia. At the moment these particular autoimmune disorders may be treated with similar types of therapies including steroids, it's a very common drug, but unfortunately for these patients it's a lifelong treatment so there's no cure. And so what we're trying to do is we're trying to understand well, what makes these T cells good and bad in every circumstance and using our knowledge of the molecules that switch these cells on and off, we can customise and fine tune these treatments for a given disease. I think it's one of the most exciting feelings when you find a discovery that no one else has found and you're then able to publish this work and get it out into the world and we hope that this is a powerful resource for everyone else to really build upon, including ourselves, and, and get to the treatments that, uh, that we need.